The town of Northbridge was the kind of place where everyone knew your name and your entire family history, where secrets were rare, and gossip spread faster than wildfire. It had its charm, quaint streets lined with mom and pop stores, the river that wound lazily through the outskirts, and the ever-present hum of nature. But for Harry, it had always been home, and as far as he was concerned, there was comfort in its predictability. Harry shifted behind the library counter, lazily thumbing through a book while waiting for the next patron to wander in. It was a slow day, typical for a Tuesday afternoon. He glanced at the clock above the entrance, its ticking, the only sound interrupting the silence, the door creaked open, and Harry's eyes flicked up. His breath caught in his throat for a split second. A man, no, a boy, really, stood at the entrance, gazing around with an air of curiosity. Tousled brown hair framed his face, and he looked a bit out of place, like someone who'd just arrived from a bigger, faster city. His blue eyes landed on Harry, and he offered a tentative smile. Harry blinked, trying to get his thoughts in order. Ah. Uh, hey. He greeted, setting his book aside. Can I help you find something? The boy stepped forward, his movements smooth and confident, but there was a trace of uncertainty in his voice when he spoke. I'm not really sure. I just moved here, and, well, I guess I figured I'd check out the library. Harry nodded, offering a small smile. That's as good a place as any to start. I'm Harry, by the way. Louis, the boy responded, eyes scanning the rows of books. Nice to meet you, Harry. So, what kind of books do you like? Harry asked, trying to sound casual but feeling oddly nervous. I can show you around if you'd like. Louis looked thoughtful his fingers brushing against a nearby shelf. Honestly, I don't even know. It's been a while since I've had time to read for fun. Maybe something about adventure. Harry grinned. We've got plenty of that. Follow me. As he led Louis through the quiet aisles of the library, Harry couldn't help but steal glances at the new boy. There was something familiar about him, though Harry couldn't quite place it. Maybe it was just the way he seemed at ease in a space that wasn't his own, or maybe it was something deeper. Either way, there was no denying the subtle pull Harry felt toward him, they stopped at a shelf lined with well-worn paperbacks. Harry slid one off the shelf and handed it to Louis. This one's good, lots of adventure, mystery. One of my favorites growing up. Louis took the book, flipping it over to read the back. Thanks, I'll give it a try. As they lingered in the soft glow of the library lights, neither of them knew that this was only the first of many encounters.